Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving to you too. Thanksgiving 2018. Did you finish up the getting the pie crust ready? Yep. I was gonna try to get that on video. So what's what's the process of all of doing these? There's one. I'm gonna film nice. one of these right now, so. How are you? Pecan, yeah. Well, I gotta mix it, the final mix. Just about got it done, though. Pecan so, and pumpkin. So when did you start the process for that, and how does it work? Uh, Is it just flour and water? I started last night, I made the pastry dough. Made the pastry dough and made it into balls for the pie, for the pie crust, and then I uh, rolled them out, put them in the thing this morning. So how do you make the dough? You use flour, a little bit of salt, and then a bunch of butter and a bunch of margarine, and a bunch of Crisco. Huh. And you're making pecan pie it's mix? Pecan, yep. What's all in there? Carol syrup, vanilla, sugar, eggs, butter. So it's really not very healthy. I <laughs> can't imagine. Three eggs, a cup of carol syrup. Cool. Looks good. Yeah, it makes it nice. Pecan pie. Oh, okay, so you put the pecans down. Uh huh. And then. And then the. Then this mixture. And then pecans on top? Nope, and then they float to the top. Oh, they do? They eventually work their way through, yeah. Oh man, look at that. Wow. That looks good. One pie looks done. Good. Looks good. So that's pumpkin and, pumpkin and cinnamon? Pumpkin, sugar, cinnamon. And then, and it's got, Ginger, yeah, ginger, mm -hmm. ginger, cinnamon, pumpkin. Yep, and then I'm gonna put these eggs in. Two eggs, and then milk. Yep. Nice. We uh, we've been using that um, almond milk when we make pancakes up at the cabin. Really? And it, yeah, and it really makes them fluffy, and it is a little sweeter than regular milk. So huh. hopefully this isn't too sweet, but this will be. Can't imagine it would be. So. That's amazing. It hardens up with all that liquid and all stuff. Yeah, it hardens up. I don't know what causes it. There's nothing in there. There's no like leavening aid, which leavening would be to make it rise, but there's not like flour or anything. Right. Pumpkin sugar. Egg, salt, ginger, and milk. Yeah, that's all there is to it. You know what? You would think it would take something thickening, like a cornstarch or flour. Or... Right. But I guess you just cook enough of the moisture out of it, and then right. it firms up. Man, that smells good. So you're doing three pies? Or just two. Just two? Why do you do the pies first thing? Just to get them done and out of the way, because they can kind of set. So there's no like. So I'm gonna make the dough for the potato rolls. After this? Oh, I gotta cook potatoes, shoot. I'll do that right next. Want me to gotta... get some water boiling for you or what? No, I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna cook up some potatoes. I meant to cook some up last night so that I would have it for this, for for the potato rolls, and plus for us to have some hash browns. Right. But I forgot, I ran out of, ran out of energy. Or you just you want just should I butter and salt and pepper? I would just salt and pepper. I don't think you need the butter, but you can if you want. Yeah, where's something that I can use? You want real butter? It's up there. I could it's use my balance. That's where it always is. This is what you just pulled out of the oven here. Yes. And you're gonna fry it in some Base. butter? No, I'm gonna put fry the do the vegetables in butter. Oh, It'll be what onion, this? celery, oh. and mushrooms. Nice. Wait, do you always butter the turkey like that? I do. Do mom? Yes. Just screws things all up. I'm not hitting all this extra stuff on. <laughs> it's no. a big old turkey. So 16.73 pounds. 16.73 pounds, huh? 
So what temperature does this thing have to be? Well, it should be, it's, it says still lukewarm, but that's 105 degrees. See, that's, that's um, hot. No, well, it's you just want it to be cool enough that it won't cook the egg or kill the yeast. Oh, okay. Because I'm supposed to put this egg in here too, I think, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna this mix. This is cool. I'm gonna mix this stuff in there and then I'll do the egg. Well, no. Does it say to mix the egg with this stuff? Beat two eggs well and add all to mixture when cool to be warm. I'd say put it in one at the same time if that's what it says, but. Yeah, I could, well I was gonna, I'll mix this with my Danish dough with, if I can find oh, it's out here. I'm gonna do this out here, I'll get this all out here so I can dump it. Here, all right, I'll bring your egg out. Yeah, it is a lot, it's. We could have dumped it. That's cool. Uh, yeah. That's a cooking one? It's all, it's all purpose flour. I don't want to, that's all bread flour there. So. so you don't want any of it getting in there? Uh-huh. This is different flour? Yeah, it's bread flour. Oh, okay. They grind, it's got a little bit more protein, I think. Interesting. So it, the oven that's outside is from down in the boot a little bit anymore. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it where? It's in southern Italy. Yeah, down in Fruili or somewhere? Or, no, that... Uh, southern Italy. That's like yeah, the poorer... Campania. That's like the poorer, more rur rural part yeah. of Italy, isn't it? Yep. More dangerous. So... Where, and where, is, where are you from? I'll show you where I'm Six from. Hours, Santa Maria del Giudice. Which is in like northeast Italy. So there's oh yeah, it's close to Pisa. Actually, close to Luca. Cool. <laughs> you don't have to since it's on video, but. <laughs> See. It looks the chimney. See the big chunk that fell? Oh yeah, it did fall perfectly. So we built the fire so it falls perfectly and kind of like... Hey there! No, they put these eggs in. Oh, they're okay. oh, that's good, good thinking. Do it halfway and halfway. Do you know the ingredients off the top of your head for this? Uh, yeah, flour, of course. Flour, lard. I use real lard. Wow. Sugar, salt, potato, mashed potatoes, and potato water. Water that you boil the potatoes in. Um, sugar and salt, I think I already said, and a couple of eggs. Cool. Yeah, oh, and milk. Two cups of milk. That's actually quite the ingredient list. Yeah. That's a lot more advanced than just like some oh, yeah, no, most flour and water. Just, just four, four ingredients. Oh, and yeast. Right. Most bread is just four flour, um, flour, water, salt, yeah. yeast. This is usually all that's in. Oh, okay. Most of the breads I do, so. Right. This is like way, see I did, said to use 12 cups of flour and then in my recipe thing I've got I've got 1500 grams then I got that marked out and I got like 1250 grams or whatever it is so I thought well I'll use the small one I don't know why I got two different measurements for how much 14 cups of flour should weigh <laughs> or was it or was it that the original one wasn't enough like upon experience or something well this I'm gonna definitely add more because I can tell it's not yeah enough flour or not. Oh wow, that feels so, so nice. It's really got a nice feel to it. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. It feels different than your normal. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it feels fatter. It's got that cup of lard and stuff in there. I can tell it's smooth. It's uh, silkier. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Feels way different, actually. 
Cool. Well, we'll get the video next uh, where the next step is. We've been s sitting here needing it for what, five or 10 minutes? Yeah, I finally just about got the right amount of flour in it. It's still pretty moist, which I like. I like moist doughs, but. Does it still feel different than your traditional like French yep. breads or whatever you make? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it feels, uh, feels fatter. It's got fat in it. So That's it crazy. Like I can feel that in the bread. That's interesting. Is that what you normally do is French bread or what would you like the generic yeah. term for it? That's what I call it, yeah. It's just your basic white bread that's sort of made into a, what they call a batard, which is like shaped about like that. Right, right. <laughs> that thing shapes up pretty quickly. <laughs> so then This will start feeling a lot better once it rests. I'll, I'll stretch fold it. You know what? I don't need to. So how, wait, what, so how long, do you, do you have to put it in the proofing oven or? Yep. Oh, you are? Yeah, that's where it's gonna go. It's gonna bulk ferment first, and then I will, so I'll just put this all in like. You know, we don't necessarily need those done for dinner. This thing. Oh, and I'll take oh, it out man. there and, and put it in the. Proofing this oven? This whole thing, put it into the proofing oven. It'll fill almost completely full, fill this thing. And the proofing oven's at 80 degrees, you said? Yeah. About, it, it fluctuates of course, because it's not the best controller. But the thermostat, I got it set around 80, which is good. 78 is, you want this thing to be 78, which it's gonna be, it feels pretty close to that. That'd be the perfect temperature, really. That's amazing, get you're that getting it close. that close, holy cow. Well, I, I, we'll see, we'll get that, we'll get that temperature thingy. Oh, uh, right. Gun and put it on here and see what it, see what it reads. It's at the same temperature. Yeah, it? what is Should it? Should be, oh, 76.6. 76. Yeah. And it's, That's like perfect, 77. How 78 do, is what I was How do you for. already have it at that temperature, just from kneading it with your hands? Get, no, no, the, remember the how to cool that down? Yeah, oh, that's right. And then, I don't know if you know, if I had this on the oven for a second, getting that heat out of the oven. Oh, wow. This, what, this flour was in this bag, it was up here, it was like a stick of hand, and it's cold. It was probably... 50 it was probably 60 degrees instead of so i kind of wow heated. okay so you did kind of try to get all the ingredients to be temperature right so this would come out Turn at out, 78 yeah I mean, i'm surprised it's that close that's pretty impressive yeah it's really good it turns so what do you spray what is that an oil or a yeah it's olive oil so i'll spray it in here and then this will be this will be the proofing tub. Cool. On the edge here. Nice. And so you end up with a little bit more oil in here. But see, see, so what I'll do is, um, that's a nice wet dough, which is cool. I mean, that's, I'm glad it's wet. I could get more flour in here, but this will make a nice light roll. These rolls will be really good. <laughs> oh, so you pack it down? I thought you were going to leave it like sitting in a circle or a sphere. No, this, the reason you do this is you just get more, you get more surface area right. for it to yeah. kind of expand. And um, and then too, like when I fold it, I'm going to fold this like I do my artisan breads, which will give it a little bit more strength. And it also helps like like a little piece of yeast in the middle of here it sits there and it, and it doesn't have legs so it just sits there and eats all the sugar right around it hmm. it gives off the gas and everything else so then what you do when you take this if you take this stretch it and fold it which i'm i'll do, do in a half hour gives it it's it gets all the yeast to get oh. new food right around it interesting okay <laughs> that's cool yeah that's really cool okay so that's that i should right now and i always kind of get a yeah. little sticky note mate right down my the time and then i'll put it in the proofing oven okay i got the time for you oh okay let me get it 1301 first fold is at 1 30. second fold is at two o'clock then i'll i'll divide um divide and rest at 2 30. so that's one and a half hours cool and then I'll let that rest about 20 minutes, then I'll make the rolls. They'll rise about an hour and I'll cook. Oh, nice. Yep. 
How, how will you make the rolls? Just tear chunks out, or? Yeah, I'm gonna make them smaller than normal because grandma used to always ended up being these, you know. Right. So I, I'm thinking about making some of those. Right. That's cool. Okay. So yeah, this is the proofing oven. There's the hot place. So you've got a hot and a place thermostat, in there. Thermostat. And a thermostat up here, and yep. <laughs> yeah, it feels about 80 degrees in there. Yeah, that's like just perfect for yeast. That's a pretty yeah. impressive setup. Yeah, perfect for yeast. I'll be doing when I do the French bread and stuff, or when I'll do two batches. I'll do a batch of multigrain and I'll do a batch of French, and each one makes four loaves. So I'll have. I'll have two tubs going at once, and I'll take the one tub out, and I'll make four loaves, and then so the four loaves are up on the top, the other tub down there. I'll take that out. <laughs> yeah, I have eight loaves proofing in there. Seriously, yeah. that's like a genuine baker's setup. Yeah, well, it's all homemade. That's pretty cool. Five and nine. That's pretty cool. I like it. All right, we got the kitchen or the yeah the kitchen table set up. Already with all of the, the rolls. good stuff. Wow, these rolls turned out great, it looks like. Oh, a lot of them are burnt, but tops are good. <laughs> yeah, they look good are, on the top. Some of these are good, like these, for instance. My gravy's done. See, they're slightly burnt. Oh, yeah. You know how light that is. Holy cow, that's really light. Yeah. There's the gravy. Nice, looks good. Put your finger in it and taste it. Oh, I shouldn't, my hands aren't clean. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Mashed potatoes, Woo, that's hot. And then glazed carrots. Oh, those look good. Dad's honey, peas. Oh, nice, nice, this looks all looks so good. So what, you got another batch cooking out there? Uh, like that, yeah, and they, they won't burn like these first ones. What's How do you right? know that? I just tell the deck stuff away. Somebody needs to come out of the deck. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, nice. Here, I'm gonna go wash my hands. How do you do this, Grandpa? Um, look at that. That's and pretty that's darn good. And then you slice along the side of it. Yeah, that's I guess. I thought you just like put in a whole 